right, guys, this is a pretty nice opening hand, especially with the Junk Converter and the Assault Synchron um, being into rotation and with um, with the Cold Pie to stop the Maxi. Honestly, the best starting hand we could ask for, other than we started off with a Living Fossil, so we're going to have to kind of escape through the combos a little bit differently than we normally would. But Synchron Carry is going to bring out the Junk Synchron. We're going to bring out the Junk Converter as well. Looks like our opponent is on some kind of Bestial engine. So we're going to be playing through Bestials as we continue here. Um, that's fine. We're going to go Junk Synchro, Synchron, and Synchron Carrier into the Junk Speeder. And we're going to summon one through five. Now, noticing with this that our opponent um, is going to be taking his Bestial Druse Worm meaning that Baldrake's effect is now online. So we are under a little bit of pressure here, but let's see what we can do and let's see how we can perform. We bring out the Stardust Charge Warrior because we did open up with the Living Fossil. He is going to banish our Stardust Charge Warrior. It is understandable. So with that, we're also going to draw a card. And he's gonna try to take out our other last tuner, but we did top deck the called by. We did have the living fossil, so it wasn't the most big deal, but honestly, it makes our life a little bit easier taking out that Druus Worm into the rotation here. So Junk Synchron plus Junk Converter, we're gonna get a Garden Rose Maiden, and we're pretty much gonna be starting the combo from where we have a level seven into the rotation. Um. So Junk Converter is going to also bring out that level one. So we're honestly back to where we would be if Junk Speeder was still on the field here. Because we're going to be going into the Power Tool Dragon and then into the eight with the Arrival in Light. Going to be special summoning both. We are not going to be able to get the Doppel Warrior into rotation here. So honestly, our move isn't the strongest of our moves, but we're going to make do here. We're going to bring out Omni Dragon. Omni Dragon's going to target the light to get the Stardust Trail. See, and then we're going to go uh, into a five here. We're going to go into TG Hyper Librarian to just get some pluses off of our summoning here. Uh, there's Converging Wills, and we're going to tribute into an eight here using Stardust Trail and Stardust Synchron. There's our Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon, and we're also going to be gaining a card from this. And we're going to be special summoning a tuner and a monster here. Really just trying to build the most amount of what we can do with what we can here. Tuning is going to get us another Assault Synchron into rotation. Very nice. That living fossil pop doesn't really matter in the long run. But there we're going to bring out our Bestial Disc Patter here. Draw a card. We're going to bring the Stardust Illumination. We're also going to get the Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon, and our opponent's going to choose to surrender there. Playing through constant Bestial Interruption, still succeeding. All right, honestly, a perfect hand if I've ever seen it. Junk Converter in the opening, ditching for the Assault Synchron, just getting another Assault Synchron into rotation. We're going to use the tuning to get the Stardust Synchron into rotation. We do lose one of our Junk Synchrons, but that's not going to really matter as long as there's one more because we do play it at three. Go into the Junk Speeder. Junk Speeder is going to bring out one, two, three, four, and five. We do misplay here playing the Junk Speeder in the wrong zone, but it happens. Sometimes zone placement can be funky, but we're going to bring out that Power Tool and we're going to bring out the Flur to bring out the Assault Synchron just to replace the zone that we did forget to bring out. Living Fossil, going to bring out one through three. We're going to add a Living Fossil. Is that Now we're going to Tribute to get the Stardust Trail out and we're going to go into a level eight right here. We're going to choose the Chaos Ruler right away here. Um, this is where I misplay a lot. I really did not play this game to my best of my ability here. I forgot I played the Arrival Light and I'm just pushing through the wrong plays. Just really just trying to get a lot of stuff going on for no reason. But you can see what we can still do even with the constant misplays. That's what I want to show this clip off still. So Chaos Ruler plus Assault Synchron. We're going to get out of Baron Defear. And next up, we're going to use the two plus the uh, Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon to get out the Bestial Dispatter. 
So that's already two crazy cards on the field as it is. Then we're going to use our um, Living Fossil and our Stardust Trail with Abyssal Dispatter to bring out Stardust Charge Warrior. That's going to give us one more card to play around with. And we're going to get another 10 out and we're going to choose to bring out the Supreme King Changling. Now, this is also where we're going to bring out the Chaos Ruler again. And Chaos Ruler uh, is going to come out, as well as Jet Synchron is going to come out to get us that level 9 Hot Red Dragon Abyss. So, two negates, two interruptions. A very nice board, if I say so myself. I'm going to use one of those Assault Synchrons to recycle the Chaos Ruler back into rotation. End our turn there. With an Ash Blossom in hand, this is a pretty hard hand to beat. Um, him breaking my spell I don't really care about I decided to let the first one go through because I know that his cosmic cyclone is gonna trigger my Changling, and he's gonna lose both of the cards he just so so hard to try out bring out the ash blossom in hand leaving him with three cards and I still have two negates and that's where your opponent chooses to surrender there On to another one. You see, this is where the Anya Mark gets that duel comes in because it can bring out any Synchron card. So it can bring out that carrier to continue the lines even if you don't have a level two for your Junk Synchron. That's why I think Synchron Carrier is such a crazy card. There's the speeder we're going to bring through the one through five. Oh, my bad, one through four because Quick Draw Synchron is in hand. We're going to go two plus five equals that Power Tool Dragon here. Getting our three showing of living fossil to guarantee us one in hand. We're going to do the right play this time and go right into the eight. Crystal Wings Synchro Dragon. Use the arrival and right to bring out the Brosaur and Junk Synchron is going to be targeted with the Brosaur's effect to bring out the Doppel Warrior. We're going to also bring out the Stardust Synchron here to bring out TG Hyper Librarian. Also, we're gonna send our called by to use Jet Synchron in the rotation. I felt like that was the easiest way to get Doppel Warrior into rotation there. There's our Shooting Majestic online. We're gonna draw a card from that and we're also gonna add two before anything else goes down. Now, I feel like this is where I wanted to plus off of that TG Hyper Librarian as much as possible. So we're gonna go into the Garden Rose Maiden. I need to go this card sooner or later anyway. And I feel like it was a good pick to get the Garden Black Garden plus the Jet Synchron into rotation. We would have been able to combo off so much more, but our opponent chooses to surrender there. All right, honestly, a very good opening hand with the junk converter and junk synchron plus stardust trail honestly opening up with that card is super fun and it extends your combos even further than full combo and it gives you some turn two plays with this deck which is unheard of but if you play the deck right you can really experiment with the cool style this deck can play so bringing out the one through five we're going to get the rival light into rotation we're also going to be going into the six because we did open up with a living fossil so we still want to get some kind of card advantage that's what the charge warrior is for but our opponent's not going to let us finish it and that's going to be the game all right very interesting hand to open up with the junk converter and tuning we're going to use tuning first we're going to get that assault synchron into rotation getting it right into the graveyard with the junk converter Honestly, that living fossil being sent to the grave does have, does hinder us a bit, but we're going to play through it anyway. There is our Junk Synchron using its ability to bring out the Junk Speeder, and we're going to go through 1 through 5, but our opponent really doesn't want to deal with the Junk Speeder, the crazy card, and he chooses to surrender there. With the Stardust deck, this is what your final board's going to look like pretty much, other than the Chaos Ruler is going to be switched out for a Baron de Fear. I was just playing around and I felt like this explained it enough. Um, the Chaos Angel is gonna have the light and the dark protection. You're gonna have over one, two, three, 
um with the synchron and the you're gonna have up to like four negates with the baron included that makes five plus they're not gonna be targeted it's a really nice combo all right guys so this is the deck list i uh have been doing some modifying but honestly i feel like this is the best full power version of the stardust synchron deck as it is before we do get some near support in the near future it is not confirmed to date yet but it's gonna be coming very soon um any changes i made to the deck were i did lower junk sync uh jet synchron to one to make room for some more level two targets just so the consistency is there a little bit more and extra deck i took out the rudy rose dragon and added this bestial disc pattern this card is insane especially with chaos ruler and excel synchro being your extender eights it gets you into a disc pattern every single time you disc pattern using chaos ruler you can just bring back the chaos ruler if it's the second time it's being used um i think the stardust deck is super fun to play i thought it would be the perfect video to bring back my channel with because i haven't been uploading as much but i also showed a quick clip of the full combo right before this and i definitely recommend the deck to anybody that's really trying to have fun with some anime decks and still compete with the latter somewhat now i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave a comment down below what deck you want to play next or different style of the deck i've already played before there's many versions of each and every single deck that i do know about and i do like to experience with the channel so i hope you guys enjoyed the video see you guys next time